Today, I, I feel like we came full circle. I just did a, a funeral of um, the father of a very good friend of mine. Um, he's now Lieutenant Philip Koch. Hope he won't mind my doing this when he sees this video. My apologies, uh, Lieutenant. But anyway, so um, we did this funeral. Father passed away, COVID-19. Uh, 74 years old, I think it was. Gershon Ben Ruben Koch. And, um, you know, they went through communism. They came here through Russia. And uh, when I met, when I met uh, Philip, the son, so it was an amazing experience. What happened was, um, Philip was a cop, he was a policeman, and he was patrolling on Nostrand Avenue. And he's giving tickets to every single person who's around, and everybody heard that there's this cop over there who's out to get the Jews. He's giving tickets to everybody. Anyway, one day he meets a guy, he meets, uh, he gives a ticket, stops Dave Roth. Now, Philip was at that time giving tickets, literally. If you pulled out and you put your seatbelt on two seconds later, you got a ticket. If, um, if you were driving anything, cell phone, even in thought maybe of a cell phone, you were getting a ticket. And he was patrolling, doing, you know, what officers are supposed to be doing. So he finds Dave Roth. Dave Roth is a big, huge guy. And he <laughs> blows the sirens. There's a Nostrand Avenue. Dave pulls in, goes into a side street, goes into his house, keeps on driving. He says, I know who this cop is. I don't care. Comes into his house, pulls into his driveway. And as he gets into his driveway, lo and behold, the officer pulls in, pulls up behind him. And he's in his driveway. He says, you're running away from the police. So Dave looks at him and he says, you're such an anti-Semite. Are you giving tickets to all the Jews? I know what you're doing. The guy looks at him and he says, you're calling me an anti-Semite? He says, I'm Jewish. Now, Dave Roth, if you know Dave, Dave's this huge, giant, big guy. And <laughs> he's got this bear-like hug. Dave says, you're Jewish. Oh, my gosh, you're Jewish. He takes the guy in his driveway, runs at the cop, jumps him. He's lucky the cop didn't pull a gun out at him. <laughs> and he gives him a big bear hug. And he says, wow, then you're one of the clan. You're one of us. And he gives him a big hug. And he picks him up. Picks up the cop with this bear hug. This poor guy, he says, I don't know what hit me. And before he could do it, he pulls around, goes back, gets into his cop car, and gets out of there. Anyway, Dave calls me up. He says he wouldn't believe it, but this guy that everyone says he's giving tickets to all the Jews, he's Jewish. He's an absolute, he's a Jew himself. Literally, a day or two later, I'm outside my shul, and here's the story. That day, we didn't have a minion. We had nine people. And I don't know what it was, some davening. And I see, out, I walk outside the shore to find a tenth man. And as I'm doing that, I see this guy, a cop standing outside, giving a ticket to a guy in the car. Some guy, a Jewish guy in the car, and this guy's giving him a ticket. So I decide this must be him. I walk over to the cop and I say, excuse me, uh, are you Jewish? He says, yeah, why? I say, we need a tenth man. Would you like to come in and be the tenth man for Kaddish? He says, can we finish writing the ticket, doing business, and then I'll come. Finishes riding the ticket, comes in, and he he was our tenth man. He davened with us. Didn't want to put on filling. Took a few months, got him to put on filling. And it took, I don't know, a year or two. And at 36 years old, he had a bris for the first time. This guy from Russia had a bris. And since then, you know, he tells me, he goes to the Coast Guard. And he says, I'm sitting by the Coast Guard, and they're looking at me, and they say, why'd you do it? I'm looking at the Coast Guard people. What do you mean? Why did I do what? And they say, hey, we Googled your name. And it says, the first thing that comes up is, Officer Koch had a bris. And this guy had a bris, comes to me every so often, puts on fill in. I just gave him matzah at the levi at the funeral. And now, unfortunately, his father passed away. And the most beautiful, beautiful thing happened. We were at the funeral. We were standing around. There were nine men, a few ladies, and nine men, including me and the guy from the the funeral home, the Chaver And there were nine men, and I said, we've got to say a Kaddish, we've got to get a Kaddish. So we pulled up to the front of here, to the front gate, in uh, Beth David Cemetery. And I'm looking around, there's nobody around. And suddenly, I see my good friend, Lieutenant Koch. He's like, I've got to say a Kaddish for my dad. What do we do? And he's looking around, looking around, looking around. And he's looking at all this place, and nobody, nobody around. And he goes out to the front, Suddenly he comes back to me and he said, I found the tenth man! I found the tenth man for Kaddish! Here he is! And there was my good friend, Shmulek Hartman, 
was over there. And I'm like, I got a deja vu over here. Yeah, you're looking for a tent man for Kaddish. <laughs> Remember how we met the first time, looking for a tent man for Kaddish. Yeah, and that's it. The Neshama, the soul of Gershon Ben Ruvain. Ephraim, your father, should have a lot of nachas from the fact that conquered communism. Got you come to America and conquered the communism because you've got a son who, in the middle of COVID 19, found a tenth man to be able to say Kaddish. Meshiche. Amen. Okay, just answer Amen. Bechaye Chon. Ubi Yemechon. Ubechaye. The whole base Israel. Vagala. Ubizman. Kariv. Vimru. Amen. Everyone together. Amen. Say you also. Amen. Yehei. Shmei. Rabba. Vimroimov. Who? Yase Sholem. Oleinu. Veal. Kol. Israel. Vimru. Amen. Beautiful.